historically the piece was made in 1845, um, really to showcase four of the amazing romantic ballerinas of the period. And it was very unusual because normally they wouldn't dream of dancing on the same stage. They were very much divas in their own right. But by the great persuasion of the theatre manager, Her Majesty's Theatre, somehow he invaded them into performing on the same stage together. I suppose I was aware of this piece because as a child I was taken to see the Festival Ballet at the Festival Hall in London and part of captured one item on a mixed programme. And then I suppose I didn't come across the piece again until I, after working with various international companies, I came to join the Irish National Ballet in Cork and very luckily in my first season with the company, which was um, 1974, Anton Dolan came to Cork to mount Pas Catch on the company. I have vivid recollections of him arriving at the studio because he had been in St. Petersburg the week before and we saw this fur hat pass by the window and we all knew the great man was about to arrive. Um, we were terrified because he'd actually mounted Pas Catch on the Mariinsky Ballet the week before and he realised we were very nervous, he, he put us at our ease very quickly. Um, and we were very, very lucky to learn it from him because the detail that he went into, the nuances, particularly with the style of the piece, the fact that he wants you to interpret a ballerina, uh, the fact that you are doing a style that is probably alien to modern day dancers because it was very much a curly cue style. You have to put your mindset back to 1845 and try and reinterpret this particular style. Um, it's quite a challenge. It really is a challenge for the modern dancer. I think it's very important that these pieces are not forgotten because obviously Swan Lake and the big classics will go on forever, we presume, but delicate little pieces like this could so easily get lost and they do commemorate striking milestones in the history of classical ballet. So as from the dance history point of view and from the whole point of view of preserving our heritage um, as broadly as we can, I think this piece is particularly important and I'm absolutely delighted that Ballet Island are presenting it this season.